Hello everyone, welcome to the start of a new little mini-series going over how to do equipment changing. So this is a game me and my wife are making, but what we're going to go over in this little sub-series is an inven a mini inventory system and the ability to swap out armor pieces just like this or unequipping pieces like that. Just like that. So I'm going to be using these assets, this character, these icons, and these me uh, armor meshes. Just because this is a combination of material changes and mesh changes. Which I haven't seen many things covered on how to do that. So I thought it would be really interesting to do. So let's jump over into a clean project. So the only thing I've done in this is set up an animation blueprint. That way I don't have to see that because this is more about the equipment, not the actual the animation side of it. But I haven't changed anything about the main character or anything. I've only created those two things. So I'm going to set up the main character first. So I'm going to open my third person blueprint character. Over in the viewport, I'm going to highlight the mesh. This is going to be the base skeletal mesh. So for this one, I'm going to use... my character human female and I'm using this character because she's split into pieces so I'm just gonna get the chest piece and make that the base piece right here which is awkward looking yes I know but we will be fixing her up so how we're gonna do this let me let me just do something real quick uh, before I get demonetized, <laughs> I'm just gonna apply a material to her real quick. There we go. That'll work. All right. So the way you can do this when you have multiple pieces. So we're going to go find the next piece of the character. I'm avoiding these. These are the physics assets. We want these skeletal mesh pieces. So I'm gonna do the hips next. We'll highlight it. Add a component, skeletal mesh, and I'm going to call this legs upper. Highlight the main mesh because I want them all to be a child of this mesh component. If I have this highlighted when I try to add the next piece, it'll just continue down in a chain. But I'm going to highlight this, go back, let's add the lower legs. Add legs lower. So basically, you just need to add every little mesh that you're going to change. So let's see, we got the arms. So highlight the mesh, add our arms, and these will be just that arms. Back out here to the feet. going to add another piece. We'll call this the feet, just like that. Add her head so she's not just a torso. Go to the mesh, head, head, just like that. And it's a tedious process, I know, but it's how you gotta do it so that each mesh can be changed. So we'll add the hands. And does she have feet yet? Yes, feet, legs, hips, hair. Oh, ears. Ears are important. We'll add ears. That won't be changed, but, you know, it'll go a long way for how it uh, looks. <laughs> and that's all those pieces. So I'm going to add my character's hair. If you, If your character has hair already built in, you can just add another one for the helmet. I'm just going to pick a hair. I like that one. That's the skeletal mesh. All right. So just like that, we'll add the hair. And now I've already set up the animation blueprint, like I said. So I'm going to highlight my main mesh character thingy that I can't change the name of or else I would make it say torso. I'm going to apply my 
animation blueprint and you'll notice that it is the only thing currently animating so you don't want to go through and add the animation blueprint to all of this because any animation notifies you have firing inside that blueprint will be called every single time but what we can do is we can go into the construction script grab out our mesh our main mesh and we want to try to remember what this is called let's see get animation mode no no it is set in um I always forget what this one's called. Hang on one second. Sorry for the aside. Come on. Set master pose component, okay. So in here we are going to set master pose component. We'll hook that up to our construction script and for the mesh we don't want it on the target, we want it as the new master po bone component. So it'll take this animation data and apply it to all these targets. So if we grab out all of these like that and hook them to the target. Like so. Now when I compile and go back to the viewport, everything's animating. And looking kind of creepy. So I'm going to just apply all the base peasant thingies. So there's that. And yeah, it's a, you know what, I'm just going to do it this way. It's a tedious process, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, can't do that. Let's do head zero one. No, two. two works and the eyes will be fine like that so now we got our base character established what we can go through now is any place where we have pieces that will be added like for instance I'll have a my chest mesh is operated by material but I also have a mesh that will go on top of it so I'm gonna add another skeletal mesh component that will be my chest armor add we have the hands I have some gloves that we'll be using so or I have some gloves that I'll be using so anywhere that you have armor that you want to attach so hands I'm going to add glove add on the upper legs she has some armor pieces that we'll be able to use so this will be pants armor add and then the legs lower. Let's see, we'll add another one. This will be boots add. And for the hair, we'll just be changing the hair to the helmet. So. So that's looking good for right now. I am going to change one thing real quick though. Instead of having feet on her for right now, I'm just going to put boots. You know what? No, I'm not. Be barefoot. That'll work. 
Right, I'm going to save everything real quick and go back into our main folder and now that we have our main character set up next we'll start going over a basic pickup and inventory system so I will see you all in the next one for that. Bye!